Hey guys, welcome to Africa's first DIY modular synth. Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Uh, I wanted to take you on a tour of my DIY modular synth, uh, analog synth sort of thing. Um, I added more modules uh, from the last video that you watched. Uh, I have a filter, I have two VCOs, uh, voltage controlled oscillators. I have a sequencer, an envelope generator, low frequency oscillator, a clock divider. Web folder, a voltage controlled amplifier, white noise, have two snares, a cowbell, a hi hat module, some more percussions, wood block, low tom, high tom, closed. Uh, basically, all the percussions are based on the analog drum machines, the 808s, and all the old stuff, and a kick uh, module. So, I use uh, the Beatstep Pro for sequencing. Uh, I don't have any MIDI in my setup. I send out basically gets to control everything that's going on, gets and CV voltage. Uh, and I also have a, a reverb unit. Uh, uh, it sounds like that. Uh, basically, I use the reverb for transitions from uh, you know one part of the song to the other to fill up like that space when I remove the kick and I need like the melody sequence, baseline kind of thing going on to, you know, spread out and create a transition into the next part of the performance. Uh, so my basic patches build, I basically start with like drums, percussion stuff, something going on to give me a groove and I build other stuff on top of that, that from like the oscillators. So a basic patch goes something like this. I begin with a kick, a four on, on, on the floor, typical uh, electronic techno kind of thing. Then uh, I add a hi-hat. Yeah, so from then I can build on, on two other things. I can add, you know, 
I can add something like this from the oscillator. Yeah, and it sounds like techno to me at least. Ah, so basically, I have a, a CV control voltage just coming from the sequencer to the voltage controlled oscillator. Then it controls the pitch and the up gets going out to the VCA from the envelope and you know stuff like that. And uh, I can be able to control the envelopes of, of the notes. I can change the pitch of the notes. Yep. So then I can add some more percussions. So uh, in case I want to create a transition, I can, for example, remove the kick. Yeah, and then uh, open the the filter a little bit more. Then I can uh, add reverb, create a change. Yeah, then I can change, you know, the time signature. Yep, sounds like music to me. And I can add uh, other sounds like the old block. So basically this is the clock divider and it's feeding off the clock coming from the sequencer and it divides, subdivides the clock into other usable time signatures as you can hear that would block I can add another you know groove to it now it's playing in different time or I can divide it by five but basically everything will play in time because it's being divided off the same clock uh, Apart from the wood block and the percussions, I have a high tom, which sounds like that. Uh, another set of high hats there, another interesting stuff. So basically, um, I can jump on this thing. Shout out to Neo of C19 who allowed me to use his space to record my video and to Peter the man on the video himself. Till next time. <laughs>